welcome back. Let's play Dragon Quest Builders! This is a nice looking place. Bright green grass. You know how long it took me to farm the stupid items to get this grass? An hour and a half. For the record, this is not the same falcon blade I was using yesterday. And you can see what is left of the durability of my armor. I also did not have almost, or a full stack and a half of rusty nuggets, which dropped from the skeletons in the area. It was an unpleasant time. I hated life by the end. But look how bright and cheerful the grass is here. Um, so, for the record, I did make the chainmail armor. I probably should have saved and make the new one until you guys showed up. It didn't give you a, hey, you made a new thing, because we actually made it back in Chapter 1. But, we have chainmail armor now. Yeah. So, a falcon blade and a ring of criticality, and that's all you need in life. So, today, we're going deeper still. Oh, you can also see over there the gravestone from all the skeletons and zombies I've been killing. Graveyard I put together to honor my foes, and by honor, I mean I'm never going to look at them again. I hate them all. So we gotta power through to the end of this. There's not much left for us but the actual, uh, tree. The Yggdrasil tree. I don't know how to pronounce that, by the way. I'm just gonna keep saying it that way and hope I get it right. Oh, you can walk in this? Man. Fudge. Zombies. All of them. Every last one of you. It's the zombies that drop the seeds, by the way. And they have an unreasonably low drop chance. Especially for enemies that only really exist among other enemies that are even more annoying. And half of them you gotta fight are these, like, little human idiots that you have to run over and tick off. So they fall over. And then you can kill them. But hey, it looks pretty, and that's all that matters in the end. It's midday, I'm getting hungry, I have a lot of guys chasing me. Where are they gonna chase me? Oh, they actually left me alone. All right. Oh, I'm also out of that food. That's okay, there's more where that came from. And I can always, you know, go make more. So onwards to this. So this location... Hey. In the original Dragon Quest, this was not the Tree of Gator Seal. This was, it was called the Southern Shrine. And it goes by a couple different names in um, Dragon Quest Two, I think it was. But yeah, no tree here. Instead, it was a small um, building you could go in. A shrine, really. With one guy in it. That one guy asked for proof of your lineage with um, Erdrick, the legendary hero. And upon giving him that, which I think was the emblem of Erdrick, which you got from the previous, or we got at the end of the previous chapter, for that, or once he saw that you had that, he took two other items you had, which I don't remember what were, and he gave you the rainbow drop. Now, obviously, that's not here. So, things have changed. But there's this over here. I knew I should brought, bring a key! Oh, 
Okay, silver. I mean, I'd still need the sludge, but at least that's that. So, not sure what to do about this tree. It looks like they were doing their best to take care of it. Even purifying the water. But that is some rich poison right alongside. So, maybe they weren't that lucky, or that successful. Heck do you get up this thing? I mean, of course I gotta climb it. Okay. Hmm. Something. Hey, guy! Hey, guy! I want to talk to yous! Oh. Um, a lot of things, but I was kind of hoping for that do or whatever. Sanctum, that's what the building was called. I mean, both things that would be pretty cool. But really, at the moment, that's all I'm here for. Look, I do things my way. Heck yeah! Now I got the table. And I need that flower. Hmm. Can I do this right now? Use it here instead. So he said he stored those last things away, not very far. Ah, there you go. Get off the roof, old man. You actually let that one slip when she was... when she first fell. I think we're all human, really. That's what we're looking for. Hey, I'm not done talking to you. Hey, he told me that actually, not that I know where to look.
Well, now I know where to look. Also, I gotta make key. Also, I gotta make the transmutation table. So let's take a look at you. So we need Mirabilis Cauldron. I was really hoping they weren't gonna make me. Really hoping they weren't gonna make me do that. Or oh, weren't gonna make me like make a second room. Like just replace the thing. And now I got it! I don't know what all needs to be in here, but this thing is kind of big, actually. And by kind of, I mean really big. I mean, really big? But yeah, it just lets you make everything that you could make before. Hey, we also got the other thing for this. I could almost make it. Well, of course it wouldn't be in there. Yeah, I can also almost make that. It's spiffy. And this is what we need to make. We just need Hollyhock. But first, I think bed is a good idea. Huh? Heck? I didn't see the ghost. I just saw a friggin' guard lady rush in and attack me. And I'm like, what the crap? They're a monster that can take over my allies? I don't remember that. Okay, so we're gonna have to do something with that room because right now this isn't working. But I'll worry about that another time. In the meantime, I need to go... How do you make keys? We needed a key! Long lost. So, let's make a new one. This is the other thing that I wanted to talk about. Dang it. Um, ever since I got the ability to make keys. So, this town. What town is this called? Rimmeldar? Rimmeldar. This town, Rimmeldar, did almost nothing in the original Dragon Quest. It was just kind of a place you could stop by. Except for one thing. It sold magic keys the only place in the game to get magic keys. So you could buy them up here and actually use them to open all the doors and whatnot all around the world. This is where you went to get keys. So it's only fitting that this is where you go to learn to make keys. So the big table, as far as I can tell, is the same as the pot, only fancier. And lets you make the divine drought. Which, I should point out, is not the same as the Grusil Essence. Um, I picked one of those up earlier. I'm sure some people were looking at that going, isn't that that thing she needs? It is not. They look similar, yes, but it is not. So where we gotta go? The quest marker's pointing us this way. Not the button that is. Right up there. You can see the big square sticking. And hey, there's the tree. So we just have to get on top of the mountain. Simple enough. Climbed many a mountain in my day. There, we did it. We climbed the mountain.
Now we just have to find the entrance. Probably where the light is. Yes. You know what I like? These lights. Oh, somebody told me to make the wall of my town out of chalk, which is this stuff. Yeah. And it seems to actually be a pretty strong material, but I couldn't get specifics on how strong the material is. So I'm not sure if it's actually better or worse than a couple other things that we have. It does seem to be pretty strong, though. The big issue is there are always, A, hammer hoods, but just making a strong substance is generally enough for the hammer hoods. Then there are later enemies, stronger enemies, that can break blocks that the hammer hoods cannot break. There usually aren't many of these. And finding a block that they can't break is... rough, let's say. Is it right? Oh, no, no, he's awake, he's awake, he's awake, he's awake, he's awake. Oh, crap, he's a poison dragon. All right, well, guess what? I have a falcon blade. There we go, didn't even get hit. Ooh, you drop these with the fancy. Oh. Just one. I'm not gonna risk it, I'm gonna use my shovel. The one and only. And that gave us the friggin... Friggin' friggin... This. The Dragon Scale. This armor has not broken yet, and I'm very surprised. I mean, technically haven't gotten hit yet. But we all know it's coming. Oh man, these things are everywhere. He needs this. Town's gonna be so lit. I'm sure there were more of those deeper in, and it saddens me immensely that I didn't grab them while I was down there. But that's fine, because we got the thing! Ah, there it goes. Hold up, let me... There we go. You know, I got a whole slot over here of stuff that I don't need anymore. Strength is nice. Dragon scale is nice. Ooh, defense plus five is actually really nice. Given how scar scarce, scarce. Whoa, almost ran into the ocean. How scarce equipment is in this chapter. I don't know, I don't see myself changing my equipment anytime soon, though. Strength Ring is nice, but criticality is better. Featherfall is nice just for getting around, and will actually prove useful later on. Almost back to town, gonna take a nice sleep. Yeah, just gonna sleep. We can plan it tomorrow.
The day's here. Time to harvest all of our plants. And plant you. Kinda? You know what I gotta do? I'm an idiot, that's what I gotta do. I gotta come over here and I gotta grind it up. Maybe I gotta talk to you first. That's what I was looking for. Got our plan. And one becomes two. And then we can go take a nap while those grow. better. There we go. And one becomes two! And two become ten! How many of these we need? Actually, I know how many of these we need. Okay, this should be ten. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and make some wheat seeds while I'm at it because wheat's pretty cool. And we should now have these supplies to make you! Yeah! Or all this extra crap we don't need. Go back in here, pull out you. Pull out my wheat seeds, wherever they are. There's no way we need this many of these, but you know what, let's... Let's let the ancient flower come back. And then I'm gonna grow some wheat because food's good. Go cure our friend! Dang it! I 
It sure did. Man, I went places too, let me tell you. I'm gonna smack somebody. Oh, that's a good sign. We got some fights coming. We've got some fights coming, and at this point, there's not a lot left to do. There's nothing left to explore, which means now that we've found a way to cure the Blight, it's probably the Hades Condor. And it's probably very unhappy with us. So until next time, everyone, there are a few minor things I can do to spiffy up the town, but mostly we're going to be putting an end to this whole mess. Also, I need a whole lot more ballistas. Until then, everyone. <laughs>